We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vandalin, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is a long one, so I will be doing some fast forwarding. It is a multi-part sort of mission. Um, the party has made its new camp, and now Arthur Morgan is talking to Dutch. And they decide to go fishing, but... Things don't go quite the way they planned. And Arthur is now helping to round up some uh, escaped convicts. It can go good or bad, depending on how you do things. But in the end, you end up still going fishing. You can accept or decline. But if you accept, you go fishing. And you get a new rowboat out of things. So, let's get on with this mission. It's called The New Self. How you doing, old friend? Fine. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that. But come on. It looks to be a nice day ahead. Hosea knows a good fishing spot. We leave now. Well, we'll catch the early biters. Come on. At this point, I'm getting a feeling that Dutch ain't on the up and up. Just saying. Things seem to be a little, how shall I say, out of joint, and he's getting worse. We'll see how this story ends up. But... I'm going to fast forward from this point on because the rest of it is just chit chat and doesn't give a lot of information. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Gentlemen, well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I, shit! I, 
The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur, chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take our... Essentially, you grab the deputy, and he tells you why you're chasing the bad guys and why you got to catch up with the train. It's kind of a pain in the butt to catch up to the train and get on to a certain point, but once you get on the train, you got to basically fight the bad guys and, you know, go from there. Yeah, this is where things can go awry, and the guy gets the upper hand, and Arthur Morgan ends up, well, how shall we say, dead. Yeah, the combat system is a little simplified here, but what you gotta do is you just gotta keep attacking the guy and attacking the guy and punching and punching. You can't kill him, but he has no compunction about doing the same thing to you. Go. Can't do I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. That was fun. And now you got to pick up the bad guy, bring him out, and bring him back to jail. So this is where I'm going to fast forward things once we get the bad guy onto the back of the horses. Did he? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. Chop, chop, don't just leave them slumped on there for the whole town to see. Okay, this
This way. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Now, make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out over rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents of some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place. See At this point, Dutch will be making plans with Jose and they will be deciding what to do as far as how to play both ends against the middle so the gang can profit. This would technically be the end of the mission, but you are invited to either go uh, fishing or not go fishing. And if you accept to go fishing, then, well, you go fishing. You decline, you might get some hassle about whether or not you're part of the group, whatever. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the fishing part because in the end you steal a rowboat, which is fine. If you like this video, hit the like button, thumbs up icon, leave some comments. I post four video game related videos a week and if you want to stay informed hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be informed when I post videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, thanking you for watching, thanking you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.